In the How Small Is It video book, we covered the atom with its proton, neutron, and electron components, energy shells, and electron location probabilities via Schrodinger's equation. Shells contain multiple orbitals. An atomic orbital is defined as the region within an atom that encloses where the electron is likely to be found 95% of the time. Solving Schrodinger's equation using four quantum numbers and Pauli's exclusion principle yields multiple wave functions as solutions that define an electron's probability density cloud in an orbital. The electron's energy is quantized into electron shells designated by the letter n. It determines the distance the electron is from the nucleus. For each energy level n, the associated angular momentum is also quantized into electron subshells, designated by the letter L. For each quantized angular momentum subshell, the allowed orientations are quantized into orbitals and designated by the letters M sub L. And for each subshell, the electron spin is quantized into two states, up and down, or plus and minus one half. Here are some images showing the shape and size of orbitals. N determines the size of the orbital. L determines the shape of the orbital. M sub L determines the orientation of the orbital. And spin limits the number of electrons in an orbital to just two. The names of electron orbital angular momentums, S, P, D, and F, originate from early spectroscopy studies of atom spectral lines described as sharp, principal, diffuse, and fundamental. Electrons first fill the lowest energy orbitals available, gradually moving to higher energy levels as the lower ones are filled. When filling orbitals with the same energy level, electrons will first individually occupy each orbital before pairing up because pairing takes more energy. Note that 4s is filled before 3d. This is because electrons in a subshell tend to repel each other more than electrons in different subshells. Here we have a subset of the periodic table that shows an electron distribution diagram for each element. These diagrams highlight the number of shells an atom has, the number of electrons in each shell, and the pairing of these electrons. The outermost shell is called the valence shell, and the unpaired electrons in the valence shell are called the valence electrons. Here are four key examples. It is the shapes and sizes of their valence electrons, along with their binding energies, that give atoms their chemical properties. Note that the diagrams show the paired electrons as close together. In actuality, because all electrons have a negative charge, and like charges repel, electrons in a pair will be as far apart as possible in their orbital 